Hello, big, wonderful world out there. This is Marla D, creator of the clear and simple way to get free of your clutter, get organized, love your space and love your life. I'm super excited today because we're talking about the kitchen. Can you tell? This is my kitchen. So remember this year of 2020, we are celebrating our 20 years at Clear and Simple of helping people get organized the Clear and Simple way. And each month we're doing different areas of your space, your home, your office. And this month we get to play in the kitchen. We always want to start with just a layer of clutter clearing before we dive into the big organizing projects. And believe it or not, you know, I've lived in this home for a year and a half and I already have clutter. <laughs> so it's going to be fun to talk about it. The kitchen is the gathering space, right? I got to go meet with a new friend yesterday for coffee here in Fremont, Utah, and got a little tour of her kitchen. And we talked about how that is just the area where everybody comes together, whether it's the family for the day or when friends come over. Even if there's no table and chairs in the kitchen, everybody comes into that space to connect. It's just the whole purpose and energy of the kitchen. So it's a super fun place to do some clutter clearing. So similar to the other ones, I'm going to give you three things that you can do either, you know, an hour or two, make it really easy for you. Pick one of these, pick your time, set your timer. You can do it with your kids or your partner even. It can be a lot of fun. So the first one is do the drawers. Yep, the drawers. You could either do the infamous junk drawer that catches everything, or maybe you wanna do your utensils drawer, or you know maybe the drawer that has all of the spatulas and cooking things in it. Just pick one. Start with one and then you can always do more. It's gonna be hysterical what you're gonna find in the drawers, okay? And I'm, I shared some examples from my own personal clutter clearing for you guys. So anyone have the super glue that's all dried up? Or the little remote? Or the car, the garage opener from the old house? That's a good one, right? You'll always find stuff that you can let go of. So just go ahead, take the drawer, empty it all out, ask do I use it or not, and be willing to let some stuff go. Number two, the countertops. Clear the countertops. Now, I'm not a minimalist. I like having what I really need and love and use on my countertop. So, you know, there's my toaster and the coffee pot and the paper towels. And, you know, I want that stuff handy if I'm using it all the time. But you want to find that right mix where it feels really good to you, where there's open space and not a bunch of clutter that lands on there. So, you know, here's some typical things that land on the kitchen counter. Yep. The newspaper, the magazines, the mail. I love my husband. I love him and he brings in the mail each and every day. He likes going out to the mailbox to get it and he drops it right on the kitchen counter. <laughs> so you might have a pile that's been building up for quite a while. So have fun going through that and getting rid of the old stuff. And when we get into talking more about containers, we'll talk about what you can do for that paper that needs to stay on the kitchen counter. So there you go. Clear the counter. The last one we're calling expunge the expired. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Go through the food. And I suggest just choose a category, right? Maybe it's your canned goods, maybe it's your cereal, maybe it's your snacks. You don't have to do it all if you don't have a lot of time and you've got a whole big buildup of old food. But pick a category, once again, haul it out, sort through it, remove the expired items and let them go. So another true story from me, yep. Unsweetened almond milk. And yeah, October of last year, October 2019. Nope, gonna let that go. Then I found, oh my gosh, this whole thing of all these old mixes, like taco mix and stuff like that that were really old. And included in that was hot cocoa mix, 
January of 2019. So, you know, you guys, it happens to all of us and it can just be so freeing and so fun to take an hour or two, go into your kitchen, choose one of those things, the drawers, the countertop, the pantry with the old food, and just let some stuff go. One little note here at the end, a lot of uh, food kitchens will take food that's expired up through a year. So you can always contact your local kitchen and, and see if they'll take some of that old stuff if you feel guilty about the fact that you haven't eaten it and now you're going to let it go. And yes, as a professional organizer, I've worked in hundreds of kitchens through the years and we found food that's expired 10 years ago. It's okay. It's just taking up space that you need for your good food. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I would love to hear some stories about what happens and what you let go of. And in the meantime, have an absolutely beautiful day. And just know that clutter clearing matters because your space matters. And once you get it done, just take a look at it, take a deep breath, take it in and enjoy it. That's important. Oh, nope, I'm gonna have to do one more little tip. So once you've cleared that countertop, a really fun thing to do can be, you know, choose a living plant or flowers or a beautiful item to place there on the kitchen counter, or maybe it's the middle of the dining room table. And the moment you bring beauty in, it will make a difference in terms of dumping the clutter back onto the kitchen counter. So there's a little tip for you. Love doing this work with you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.